Hey guys, Cody Schwabe here, and in this video I'm going to do a, a product showcase or a painting showcase. And this is actually a new thing that I'm doing, but the reason I'm doing it is not only to show off my art to hopefully sell it to people who are watching, but also to explain the story behind it and um, how I made it. So anyone who's actually interested in learning how to paint, not that I'm an expert, um, how I did it so that if you like what you see, you can actually do it yourself. And I, it's hard for me to record while I paint, so I figure it's easier if I just show you, or at least tell you what I did so you have an idea of it. So I'm actually gonna do this piece right here. I call this piece Timeless, and I'm gonna show you. Um, it's a three-piece set, and it's um, 10 by 20 each, so 30 by 20 total. Um, so let's talk about, first off, the, the background. So the background is actually a turquoise and black, um, and I achieved it with a rubber squeegee. <clears throat> and so what I did was I took black and I put it around the edges and, um, and then put turquoise kind of in between and then scraped it with a squeegee and then kind of just, I kept going over it and over it and over it so that it, it kind of blended. You can kind of see it. The, the glare out here is kind of weird, but um, you can see the you can see the dark spots. So this is where the black was pulled down um, from being, you know, basically pulled down over and over and over. So that's how I achieved the background. Um, and a lot of people like that background. It's actually very good colors. Again, it's hard to see with kind of the the sun in here. Let me turn the brightness up. There we go. Now you can kind of see the contrast. Um, okay. Well, now it's a little bright. Um, so moving on, um, we've got this white splash, right? So let me kind of zoom out. You can see the whole thing. Um, the white is actually a gloss enamel, latex based, because that's what I use um, for kind of accents. Um, the, the, how I achieved this um, was with a cup. So I just used a small plastic cup and I just kind of threw it across the piece. And the, the whatever was left, I just kept like throwing across the piece. Um, and so that's how I achieved um, the white splash that you see here. Um, then you'll see that to kind of pull them all together, I did a single simple line. This tri-circle is just something that I do on a lot of my paintings. I don't know where it came from. I don't know what prompted it. I just, it's just something I do on some of my paintings. Um, so I noticed that some people have kind of a definitive thing that they'll do over and over again. Um, not on every piece, but a lot of them. And this is just mine. So basically just to kind of tie them in, even though I have the white, I also have this simple little design down here to kind of pull it in. So <clears throat> the whole piece as a whole is, uh, and you know, it looks like that. And um, to achieve this, again, this is black gloss enamel. You could also use black fluid acrylics. Um, you know, something like this, you know, um, but I use these little bottles. So I have, I had one that was full of black, but I actually ran out. Um, and so I just, you know, I just wrote it with one of those little bottles that you can get from a beauty store or from Walmart. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's how I achieved it. And then the, the sides are just colored with the same color of paint. So anytime when I was scraping the, uh, the paint, off of the pieces when it went overlapped the edges, I just took my finger and just kind of ran it across to kind of color the sides. Uh, normally I'll color them black. But anyway, that's it for this video. Um, that's how I achieved this look. If you want to buy this piece, it is on my site, CodySchwabe.com. Uh, if you like this video and you want to see how I did more of my paintings, which I'm gonna I'm gonna do more of these, but if you know if you see a piece that you like and you, you're curious, just message me. And um, that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys in another one. See you around.